Hey everybody, I'm Tammy at All About Living, and today we're going to have a corned beef dinner. Yeah! <laughs> you know the funniest thing I saw today? Was Buster a rooster trying to chase down a hen. She outran him. Now that was hilarious. It has been probably a year since we've had this, and I really really enjoy it. So, here we go. Okay, now you can do this dinner one of two ways. You can do it on top of the stove in a Dutch oven and then put it in the oven or you can do it the quick, down and dirty, easy way and use a crock pot, which is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use a crock pot. Or all you're going to need is corned beef. This is a three pounder. So I'm going to use about two medium onions is what I'm guessing that is. I'm going to use five potatoes and five carrots, about half of this cabbage, and a can of rutabagas because I don't have a whole fresh rutabaga. Also going to need about six cups of water salt and pepper to taste. That's it. That's it. So we're going to get, get it all in this pot. Well, we're not going to get it all in the pot. That's I'm telling you a story. I put it in in stages because if you put like the cabbage or those rutabagas in now, they'll be so mushy that they're not even worth eating. So we are not putting those in yet. But the hard vegetables are going to go in with the brisket to start cooking. Okay, so we're going to get this out of the package. And drop right on in the pot. Voila! Now I'm going to get my veggies in there. And I'm going to make big chunks it's going to sit in that crock pot for about three hours. So, I'm going to drop that. <laughs> there it goes again. Okay. Just like, I mean, just big chunks. Same thing with the potato. Nice big chunk. This is literally going to fill up this crock pot. Same thing with the carrots. Chunky, chunky. Whoa. Almost lost it. And we're going to add some salt. Probably about a teaspoon, you know, because corned beef is kind of salty in itself. So that's probably about a teaspoon just for my veggies. And I like a good bit of pepper, so we're going to really pepper it up. That's probably, I don't know, a teaspoon and a half. 
Maybe two teaspoons. I like pepper. It's okay. And that's six cups of water. See, I told you it was going to fill it up. I'm going to get that lid on there. You're going to hit that slow cook button. It says six hours, but in three hours, I'm going to come back and take it out of this crock pot. Okay, my three hours are up. Now I'm going to get that brisket and the vegetables out of here. I'm going to lift that out. Set that aside. Now we're going to go to the stove. Okay, now we're going to get this out of the crock pot. And I'm going to pour all that great juice into my big Dutch oven. all my good juice in there okay, now we're gonna turn this up on a high flame and get a boil going pull that big dutch oven over there and let that water come to a boil while it's coming to a boil we're gonna cut up our cabbage i am happy to be cutting up this cabbage that means i'm on the home stretch to dinner I'm only going to need half of this for, you know, for the two of us. I only need half. You feel free to put the whole thing in there. Same thing. I'm going to, I'm not going to leave big chunks, but I'm going to make it pretty chunky style. Nice bite-sized pieces of cabbage. I guess that's the way to put it. Just like that. Okay, my water's up to a bowl. In goes my cabbage. I'm gonna let that come up to a bowl. Then we're gonna turn it down to a simmer. Y'all. I'm almost 60 years old, and I have never done this in my entire life. And what made me do it, I have no idea. But I set my perfectly good cutting board on top of a pot. Guess what happens when you do that? I have completely and totally warped my cutting board. <laughs> it, it, I hadn't had it. I hadn't had it two months or something. I mean, ding dong, note to self and note to you, do not ever use steam around your cutting board. Okay, I'm all up to my bowl, so now I'm going to turn it down on low, low, low. And I'm going to add all those other veggies back in now. Give that a good stir without breaking up my potatoes too bad. Now, and now my last ingredient, my rutabagas. Because they're in a can, they're already done, they don't need to cook. All I'm going to do is drop that juice out because I don't need that. I got plenty of water over there. And I'm just going to drop my rutabagas right on in there. Give that a little stir. Get my lid. When my cabbage is done, my dinner is done. Yeah! Now, you notice I did not put my corned beef back in there. 
not corned beef. It's in this nice little tray right here because I'm going to slice it nice and thin and put it alongside my dinner. Last thing to do is cut this corned beef. I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. Put it out here and I've let it get almost totally cool because if you don't, then when you go to slice it, it's just going to fall all to pieces and it's kind of stringy when that happens. So I try not to do that and let's see if I got it out quick enough to not do that this time. Okay, I'm going to cut at an angle and I'm going to cut against the grain and I did it just right today. Whoop, nope, there's a little bit on the side there. Oh, I cannot wait. Here I get some of everything. Now that is a hearty meal, y'all. Won't even need seconds for that. Y'all have a great night. Bye.